This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by the 2013 Ford Fusion. I gotta say props to the folks at ThinkGeek. They posted a link to the gingerbread serenity. Tell me this is not Holy awesome. Cow. This is my new favorite gingerbread uh, spacecraft ever. <laughs> not the biggest fan of gingerbread, but that is a pretty ship. We'll put a link to that, that in the show notes. It's just so awesome. Even the how to make it. Yes. That's but, pretty slick. Yeah, that's it's pretty awesome, but the results are fantastic. Uh, and, and we asked for uh, some of your suggestions on Twitter of your favorite last minute geek uh, geek gift suggestions. Uh, Jan says, if it's not already on the list, Think Geek's Annoyatron just got to contemplating possible <laughs> victims. A man who knows he's a year away from next year's coal in the stocking. It's 10 bucks, and essentially what it is is a little bit of circuitry, a couple of batteries, and it produces annoying noises. May, so, I, uh, may I suggest dropping this down a vent where nobody can get at it. I, that, that you will cause problems. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and as the son of a Christian fundamentalist, I have been through several of these quote unquote end of the world events and I've always emerged unscathed. <laughs> we should point out what we're talking about here is, is, is we, you watch Techzilla, so we know you're, you're all about the science, but some people out there are getting terribly upset. This is true. About the, the Mayan apocalypse, which is actually the end of the Mayan calendar and the beginning of the new Mayan calendar. Some people say it's going to be a terrible raising of the planet, and other people like us go, great. And I also say, if you truly believe that there will be no December 22nd, then I beg you to please add me as a beneficiary to your last will and testament. <laughs> Otherwise, plan ahead, grab the lawn chairs, and toast up some marshmallows, and make, make YouTube videos of the insanity so we can all take yeah. a look. It's, it, uh, it, we also hope nobody goes nuts in your neighborhood, but if they do, <laughs> just stay inside and throw rocks at them. Squirt water on them. And, and back up your data. <laughs> back up your data. You should have been doing that already. That's how much I believe that the world's going to be here on Saturday. Look, obviously we're skeptics about the end of the earth, but we love to help all the late shoppers get their last minute gifts on. Robert, what would you suggest? I'm a very practical nerd, so what? I'm going to go with gifts that would make a crafty someone special go, oh, I know what you could do with that. First, an SSD, a solid state drive. If you can install Windows or OS 10, you can install a solid state drive and configure it as your primary boot drive. I have faith in you. Prices have never been better. Go with a drive that's at least 128 gigs or larger. There are lots of good brands out there. Intel, Crucial, this brand new drive from OCZ is looking really good. I'll be benchmarking this soon, as well as Samsung. Now, for the home theater people out there, a universal remote control. Simplify the life of yourself and those around you and create a more harmonious living atmosphere with something like this. Uh, Logitech and their Harmony devices have been around for a while. This is the 650. Uh, this is an entry-level color screen remote. It's the one I use every day. And it supports up to five devices. Now, if you're looking for something a little more capable and a larger touch screen, uh, Harmony has a brand new Harmony Touch that will wrangle up to 15 devices. And it's pretty good too. Now, something a little more practical, a headlamp. Flashlights are cool and all, but you know what? There's nothing like putting a headlamp on to go hands-free. Now, I know Pat prefers other brands besides Petzl. I love this just because it's pretty indestructible. There are lots of great options out there. These are great for the car in Give particular it because it keeps your hands free. This yeah. one's an LED light that will also run on a couple of batteries and it gives you long life. And it's adjustable, so you can angle it just where you want. And it's got a nifty red light on that one as well. But uh, prices are all over the place for these types of devices. Different brands. Anywhere from like 10 bucks for the Energizer at the checkout lane at the store. Totally. Up to hundreds if you have one with multiple rechargeable batteries. Especially if you need to go underwater with it too. Yeah. Uh, uh, Princeton Tech, Petzl, Energizer. All Princeton good. Tech and Petzl will be a big step above Energizer. Totally. <laughs> uh, the gift of game, that would be my number four item. Steam is my favorite source of all games for PC and Mac. Uh, games of all kinds, really, at all prices. Uh, so basically, also their sales are pretty frequent and it's extremely popular. It's easy to give gifts through their system, uh, but do read the fine print. Maybe you already own a game and you bought a second copy of it and you might not be able to re-gift it. That's something to keep an eye on. But otherwise, lots of good sales, lots of good content, and it's a safe place to get your stuff from as far as getting online and gaming. Cable and DSL modems. If you know someone who's not moving anytime soon and pays a monthly fee to rent their hardware, mainly their cable or DSL modem, that means probably most people with cable or DSL internet service actually, Hand them a spiffy new modem that they actually own. Uh, here's one that is the latest and greatest from Motorola. And anytime I think of cable modems, I'm thinking of Motorola surfboard brands. Uh, this is the latest design that's actually a little cheaper than the previous generation. And it supports the latest uh, specs like Doxus 3. So if you are delivering you know, up to 100 megabits to your home service, this modem will support it. Now nice. for the DSL users out there, I'm gonna say, 
I've, I've used this product and installed it several times, but they make actual DSL modems you can own that are compatible with a wide variety of DSL services out there. Uh, this has been running flawlessly for months, and I think it's a good option too. And you consider the cost overall of uh, you know how long you're paying per month for a device like that, and this way you can own it outright. Now, if you ask me what Wi-Fi router to, to buy, I'm gonna say that the last three I have purchased were all Asus models, and this is the one that's actually sitting on my desk right now. And I, I, I find them, if you firmware update them, they're all pretty darn good. You, you've, <laughs> you've ordered three of them because they've all died, or three oh, of no. them because they just keep getting better? Uh, one for my brother, okay. and I didn't give him the AC one, I gave him the, the regular <laughs> one. Uh, one for a clubhouse of ours that got the dual band 900 uh, megahertz, I wanna say? The one with the dual band uh, end router. And then this one's sitting on my desk now, that just replaced my uh, previous one. So I'm flooding my whole building with AC. Uh, if, if somebody wants to buy you a gift, what should it be? I want a graphics card. I, I'm playing Far Cry 3 right now, and it's showing me that my, uh, my, my, my NVIDIA GTX 570 can't do Ultra on that game anymore. So what do I want? I want a $550 graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Asus GTX 680. This is their top edition for a single chip, single GPU graphics card, basically. And uh, that's a mamma jamma. That's also a rather large graphics card, too, so I'm not flipping that into like my home theater PC case. It's like a four slot graphics card or something ridiculous like that. It's a monster, like but it's one graphics card and, uh, and it should get me to ultra level of a... Uh, it's down to 539.99. It, it dropped 10 bucks since yesterday, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> but that, that may be what prevents me from building a whole new computer this year, so, and anyway. Also, I have to mention, uh, a viewer named Dwight wrote in after our recent cutlery discussion and recommended this $28 electric knife sharpener. Uh, the Presto 08800 Eversharp Electric Knife Sharpener. It has many, many four and five star reviews and I'm, I'm tempted at that price to own one myself. And to quote Dwight, uh, following the simple instructions is all it takes and once every six months or so, I pull it out and sharpen my knives in five minutes. Never thought I would write into a tech show about a knife sharpener, or knife sharpening. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight, you, you're convincing me to try it, but Pat's going, don't own a knife. No, 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 you should try it. You let me know how it goes. There you go. <laughs> I, just, I just remember one of the, the 70s grinders where you'd put a knife in and you'd get a little oh. twig of steel out. <laughs> it comes out looking like a file or something. Anyway, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. We love cars, and we obviously love technology. So over the past few months, we've been showing you how Ford is bringing two of our favorite things together. Today, they're sponsoring the show once again, and we're looking at an app that helps you get the most gas mileage out of the awesome 2013 Ford Fusion. It's no secret that gas prices have gotten ridiculously out of control lately, no matter where you live. But thanks to the app Gas Buddy, you'll be able to save some cash and find the cheapest gas in your area. Once you load the app, you'll see a list of the best priced gas stations and how far they are from your current location. Needless to say, the app comes in pretty handy. But with the Ford Fusion, you'll be getting excellent gas mileage no matter what. With an unprecedented five powertrain option, the new Ford Fusion gives you the power of choice with options ranging from the two liter EcoBoost boasting the power of V6 to the plug-in hybrid available in early 2013, there's a powertrain to fit every driver's needs. Fuel economy is just one of the many amazing features found in the Ford Fusion. So be sure to stay tuned to future episodes to see even more. Thanks again to Ford for their commitment to technology.